I'm gonna go through a full high level cleaning on this. Don't recommend this every time, but I'm gonna show you what it is to be able to do it, and then what I do to maintain it, and how to do safety checks on your gun. Once you do break down your gun and do any cleaning, you wanna do safety checks, and there is a process for that. Hey, welcome back. This is Timothy Olson with 95 Training Consulting, and I want to talk about, you know, cleaning your gun. I've got my Glock 34 right here, uh, 9 mil. I love my Glock 34. Uh, and I see a lot of people out there talking about, oh, you know, when I clean my gun, I just spray some oil on it and cycle it and call it a day. Um, no. Um, sorry, that, does, that, that, that doesn't work for me. And I'll tell you why it doesn't work for me. Um, one of my jobs when I was in the military is I was an armorer. Uh, I was the exclusive armor on my first command. Uh, it was a ship. And I was the only armor on there for all of our small arms. And we had uh, 1911s, M14s, um, 870 Remingtons, over to the 590 Mossbergs. Um, we had a, three, a 38 pistol, and I think we had, I'm trying to remember. Of course, we had M60s and 50s and 20s and, you know, machine guns and whatnot. We had M79. Uh, but I was the only one that touched the guns. Nobody else would touch them other than me. Uh, and in the military, you're required to do maintenance on your weapons through a maintenance system with these cards. It's a card that will break down to say, okay, you need a rag and you need X or you need Y, you need Z to be able to do uh, the maintenance on your weapon. And I would have to go through those for all the guns. <clears throat> now, because it was only me, when we had inspections, whether it was a daily, a weekly, a bi-weekly, a monthly, a quarterly, a yearly, whatever the particular requirement was, then I was the only one liable if something wasn't right, if something wasn't clean. And what happened one time is that when uh, we were coming out of dry dock, we have what's called a 3M inspection team. Anybody that's been in the military that knows 3M is, the, they come on, and they go through everything on the ship. When you hear about ships going through sea trials, that's them. They're going through every system on the ship. And I remember I was in the armory and they came down to my armory and uh, I had my chief, who is uh, my immediate superior. I had my division officer, who is, who is in charge of our division. I had my first lieutenant because weapons then was under deck departments. We had first lieutenant, so my division officer reported the first lieutenant. <clears throat> I had the, um, the XO was there and the 3M inspector. And I was just, you know, in there, small little space. It's all my weapons and my, my armory, my space. I'm the only one in there. And then they come in and say, hey, we're gonna do the 3M inspection. I'm like, cool, great, whatever you wanna do. And what happens is, is they said, okay, the inspector said, pick three guns, pick three. So I say, okay, how about the 50 cal machine gun, the 60 uh, M60 7.62 machine gun, and I think I picked the uh, M14 rifle. And I, I kind of glance over at my, my chief and I see Lieutenant, their eyes get big. They're, they're like, what the? And these are big weapon systems, the biggest ones we had on the ship in small arm sections. Um, and they're just shaking their head. No, 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 don't do that, don't do that. And the, the inspector says, okay, well, let's pick one machine gun and some smaller guns. I was like, okay, how about the 45, 1911, we had the Colts, uh, M14 and 50 cal. I basically just took out um, um, the 60 and I put, replaced it with the, with the 50 or with the, the 1911. So our, my guns were in a locker, obviously, and they're in sleeves, and they had like little leather um, like holsters, and there was three per side. You took out a sleeve of six, he just grabbed one, he takes out the gun and he looks at it and he kind of rums his fingers around the guns. He looks at me, he looks at the gun, he sets it down and goes, you're done. And I'm like, okay, well, let me go ahead and put that away and I'll take out the 50 and my, all of my officers, all the O's, the, the XO, my, my first lieutenant, the division officer, they're all shaking their heads like, no, basically shut up. <clears throat> I'm like, what? Okay, you're good on that one. Let me grab the next gun. And he said, no, he goes, you're done. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, I don't need to look at anything else you have because I looked at just one random gun that you, I think you might've looked at two, but I think it was one. Uh, and I can tell that if this gun is, is this clean, all your weapons are gonna be that way. And what I found out is that um, from the command is that 
the armory has never passed a 3M inspection. Never. Let alone get 100%. I got 100%. And part of that is because I kept my weapons clean. Now, <clears throat> do you need to completely break down your gun and clean every part of it? No, you don't. But what I would do is that I always knew the condition of my weapon. I would clean my weapon down to basically DRMO, crane, those are the, when you break it down to the nitty gritties, uh, and then I would clean it and bring it back up. So I knew my gun was clean. So that if I haven't fired my weapon, once a week, once a month, every two weeks when I go out there, I can just do a thin coat of oil and oil it and, and move on. I know it's ready. So people saying, hey, I, I just went to the range. I don't need to clean my gun because I'm gonna go back to the range in a week. Okay, yes you do. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's my opinion, my opinion. I think you need to clean it. That's just what, that's what I'm gonna stick with. So I'm gonna show you um, what I use to clean my weapon. I did take this to the range. You saw the last video around at the range. Uh, it is still dirty. Uh, I'm gonna go through a full high level cleaning on this. Don't recommend this every time, but I'm gonna show you what it is to be able to do it and then what I do to maintain it and how to do safety checks on your gun. Once you do break down your gun and do any cleaning, you wanna do safety checks and there is a process for that. So first and foremost, with any weapon, step one, number one above anything else is make sure the weapon is clear. 